Hey everybody, welcome back to Life with Meech. I'm back with another video. And y'all, this video is another edition of first impressions of makeup that I have on my face. So if you want to see this video, just keep on watching. Y'all, your girl was looking like a snack today. My face is beat. B-E-A-T, beat. I was like, look at me. That, that thing is true what they say. They say practice makes perfect or you get better with practice. I've been wearing makeup every single day. And I, I can say that my makeup has improved. I'm feeling pretty good. I only went to Best Buy today, but huh. Best Buy was like, whoa, who, whoa, who is that? Yes, honey, I'm here. Okay, makeup on my face. Let's get right into it. I have a lot of things on my face, but I'm not going to talk about everything. That's just the, the ones that stuck out to me. The first thing is my foundation. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember, but in past videos, I said how I wanted to try a stick foundation. I hadn't used a stick foundation, so I bought a few of them. So the first one I decided to try was the ColourPop No Filter Stick, and I have mine in Deep Dark 185 W, and this is what it looks like. The container, the same old white container that gets dirty, and this is, hopefully you can see it, hopefully I can zoom in. Cause I had to take my lens back. My other lens was under warranty, so it's at Best Buy, and they're gonna send it out to get fixed. And if it can't get fixed, then I can get a new one. So that's a good thing. So anyway, back to this. This is um, deep dark. I'm gonna put it on my hand, and hopefully you can see that. That's the color. So I had not use stick foundation before and for some reason I thought it was going to be hard when I put it on my face because this is the first time I when I swatched it before I only did a little line so I didn't really press it so I thought it was going to be like some hard like like the concealers you know something hard like concealers can be hard when they're in the tube so that's what I was expecting. So, and then I thought it was too light. So I started putting it on. I just lined it all over my face after I primed it. And I primed it with the Makeup Revolution spray. Their liquid spray. I really like that. But so I, I was like, ugh. But then I blended it out with a sponge. And y'all, I was like, why have I been sleeping on stick foundation? If this ColourPop one, which is like $8, I'm not sure. But does this, what about what's going to happen when I get to my Hourglass one? Because I have one from Hourglass. Y'all, this is awesome. When I run out of this, I am definitely getting another Color Pop foundation. Stick foundation. I loved it. So, how did I blend it out? I, what's my blender thing? Dang, nab it. Okay, I have a dirty one. I guess it's not meant for you to see the dirty one. So I blended it out with this Juno and Company Microfiber Fusion Sponge that I got for the first time because of Alyssa Ashley. She said it was really good. So let me just go ahead and open this. They come all sealed and good. So I, I said I'm going to try this. You know, it has all these. It's flat on one side. And flat at the top, and then it's rounded. And but it's kind of hard. So I'm like, uh, I'm I'm not sure about this because you know when you touch a beauty blender or the Elf sponge or even the um, oh, the other one skipping my mind. They're they're kind of soft, and you you really feel like you can use them dry. This one is hard. I was like, oh no, what is going to happen with this? So I wet it. And it got softer and, of course, bigger. And it was great. I loved it for blending out my foundation. However, because of these blunt edges, it wasn't good for going, like, under your eye, by your nose, and all that. So I don't like it for that. But then I found out this is not the only shape sponge they have. So they have 
other shape sponge, like with a sh with a pointier edge or, or other for other locations on your face. This is not the only sponge they have, and they're like six dollars. So uh, I might try another sponge, you know, with a pointier edge to get under my eyes and around my nose and everything. But as far as blending out this cream foundation, yes, I really like the how this applied my foundation. I really really liked it. So I am going to try some more. Moving on, let's go to concealer. First concealer is a ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Now this is not new and this is not the first time I use this, but I stopped using the ColourPop concealer because I did not like it under my eye. And then after watching some YouTubers, it found out that this was matte. I don't know why I didn't know it was matte. So that's probably why I didn't like it. So what I did was I used it as a primer for my eye instead before I put on my eyeshadow. And I liked it. So that's what I'm going to use it for from now on, especially if this holds up well. Let me see. The time is 4 4.18 and I got put on my makeup about 10.30 so it hasn't been all day a long day and it's rainy and dreary but I did go out and come back I'm not going out again but so far so good I like how the makeup is looking so this is this ColourPop concealer I like it for my eyes and speaking of my eyes honey I did a little something, something on these eyes, okay? Everything I used on here was matte. I just want to highlight the eyeshadow palette I used. And it was the Soul Tree by Anastasia Belly Hills. So, yeah. I like this palette. At first, I was not going to get this palette. But then I swatched it in the store when I was hunting, hunting, hunting for something to buy. And I was like, oh, Lord. These swatches are so nice. I think I showed it in another video. But these are the ones that really got me. And they feel so good, these uh, metallic colors. I just love them. That's what got me to get this palette. Here's four of them. They are so pretty. They are so pretty. So I really like this eyeshadow palette. It's the first time I have not even tried any of those on my eyes yet. I just used matte. Uh, let me see what colors I used. I used... Fresh, Bloom, Twig, Distinction, and I think Birch. So those are the colors on my eye. I think this, this, uh, what was this? Fresh, I used Fresh on my brow bone and in the first one third of my eye. I used Twig in the second third of my eye. See, look at that girl go. And then third of my eye, I use, oh no, I use dystopian, not slate. I use dystopian. And my transition, I have birch and bloom. So yay, look at your girl go. I'm so happy. Because I got all these eyeshadow palettes. I'm like, I need to be using these. I wear I have different eyeshadow palette every single day. Because... I feel like I wasted my money if I did not. And it would be a waste. I don't want to just look at them. I want to wear them. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Plus, now that I'm on a no buy, I, um, I really need to use my stuff. Now, let me say this about my no buy. I have gift cards. A no buy is I don't take money out my bank account or my credit card to buy it. If I have a Christmas gift card or Ebates or a gift card, somebody give me a gift, that is all bets are off. That not, does not count against the no buy. That's freebie, just so y'all know. Those are my rules. <laughs> the, moving on, the next concealer I have is CoverX Power Play Concealer. And I have this in G Deep 2. And this is what it looks like. And I have this you know, under my eye, on my forehead, down my nose, and on my chin. This is a, I like this concealer a lot. First of all, it's not like bam in your face highlight. Second of all, when you put it on, it doesn't feel like, oh, I gotta let this dry a little bit. It's, it doesn't feel like it's so wet that you have to let it dry. It just goes on and it gives you time to get back 
and blend it out because you know some concealers and some foundations you put it on and that thing already started drying and you have to rush you know to to blend it out but this gives you time to do it all over your face then you go back and you blend it out so I blended this out with my elf sponge and a little bit with this Juno and company sponge I really like this I think I'm gonna get a lighter color for a more of a highlight but this is so this is nice so that's what the color looks like and it goes on so smoothly it has the doe foot but it's round it's not it's short and stubby but the doe foot is round it's not like all blonde it is round and I really like it so it goes on smoothly so that's a good color I like that a lot, lot. next thing are my eyebrows no eyebrows y'all I don't hear no one talking about this but th this eyebrow um it's called dimension power by Kat Von D this stuff here is the business I really like it here's the packaging what it looks like and I have mine in dark brown she does have a pomade and I think she does have a pencil but this is my favorite it comes with a little mirror in there and this is this is the what it looks like it's like a powder it's not a gel I, 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 oh, oh shoot and it don't break easy so yay but it's like I hope I'll be able to zoom in I don't know but it's like a it's like a powder with something a little extra in there I can't I, I can't describe it but and it looks almost goldish goldish brown hopefully I'm gonna be able to zoom in this but I love this on my eyebrows I love it and I'm, I'm wearing it today of course but I love it and I don't hear anybody talking about this but if out of anything I'm talking about today you want to try I would try this dimension powder it is really 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 good and she came out with a um, eyebrow makeup brush and I really do like it it's, it's firm it's good especially for this powder because I have the pomade too but I don't like that as much but this brush is good for this pomade the only thing is it doesn't have a spoolie on the end but it's still a good brush I really like it to put on this dimension powder really really like it and yeah this wasn't my first time using it just maybe my, my third but it's really good the next thing is the gel on my eyebrows I tried for the first time the Ciroc Beauty uh, what do they call it brow pomade the Ciroc Beauty brow pomade this is the packaging it comes in and this is the brow pomade now this brow pomade is different than any other brow pomade I have used before because one it's like a brush it's a brush and the pomade is white when you pull it out it's not that clear gelish looking stuff let me see if you can even see it it almost looks like glue how glue looks and then it dries clear it's right here I put in a little extra but it dries clear I only use a little dab because I wasn't sure about it but that's what that is this is going to take some getting used to because you know I'm used to using a spoolie but I like the fact that this isn't that gel stuff so hopefully this pomade will help your eyebrows stay down and last a long time so we shall see on this one okay now my eyelashes y'all know I've been wearing eyelashes I've been trying to do it every day so that getting keeping the habit of putting them on because that's one of the hardest thing for me to do besides the wing but yeah I from Juno they have these um, lollipop eyelashes they're adorable they come I, I, I order some more I don't have any more I'm wearing one today but they come shaped like this lollipop and the eyelashes are one is on the top and one's on the bottom one dollar and these are nice eyelashes yeah they you may not be able to wear them for a whole week maybe a day no definitely a day maybe two 
but they are adorable and they are one dollar they do have some other eyelashes I'm not sure are they wispy I, I can't remember but they're a little bit more expensive maybe like four dollars <laughs> but yeah these lollipop eyelashes from Juno and company love them and I'm wearing them today and I just made another order I ordered like 20 of them and it had a 20% off and they have $15 once you spend $15 it's free shipping so so I'm definitely gonna keep wearing these eyelashes I really like them plus they're so cute oh, okay the last thing I want to talk about uh, is my highlight I am wearing the Maybelline Master Chrome um, topaz highlighter and this is what it looks like I like this highlighter I like it because you know it's not as BAM in your face as the master chrome molten gold this is a more toned down version but so it's really good so if you don't want to be like just out there or have to worry about being light-handed with the molten gold this is a good one so let's I mean it has the same qualities soft long-lasting a great highlighter oh I put this one on heavy so I guess you can do it heavy but look at it oh it's so pretty that's topaz and I'm gonna do um, molten gold right next to it which is also so beautiful and that's molten gold right next to it and while I'm at it, I do have two other ones. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all know I'm gonna know about. I I ain't buying no more. This one is rose gold. Rose gold. Same. Massacrum by Maybelline. They did that. That's rose gold right there. And the last one I have, and I do believe they have two more, but I don't have those, is Molten Peach. That's Molten Peach. So pretty. All of these. You can't go wrong with any of these, okay? So, let's see if I can. First one over here is Topaz. One is Topaz. Two is molten gold. Three is rose gold. And four is molten peach. So pretty. So y'all, that is all the makeup I have on my face today that I want to talk about and give your first impressions. I'm loving all of it, to be quite honest. These are some great picks and I uh, hope, hope you like this video. If you didn't, if you have any of these, tell me how you feel about them. Because I know you got the, I know somebody out there got some Master Chrome in their bathroom. I know it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you in the video.